What's going on y'all, it's DG back with another video. Today, I have a review on these bad girls right here. This is the KD3 Aunt Pearl, so let's get right into it. This is a retro, but it's actually a new colorway because the Aunt Pearl series started on the KD4. This is also a collaboration with K Yao, and K Yao is a very popular colorway in the basketball sneaker community. And basically, K Yao is a cancer fund that supports all women who are affected by cancer. The colorway pays homage to Katie's aunt who passed away from cancer. It's an absolutely fire retro. A lot of people don't know that it actually started on the KD4, and this is pretty much a brand new colorway. They're just putting it on the threes, but look at this colorway right here it is absolutely nice this shade of pink goes with so much more it's not a hot pink at all it's a very soft pink in terms of details of the shoe you guys can see the logo on the tongue it also says aunt pearl on the inside this logo on the back the material consists of synthetics and you have this fly wire right here as well as the herringbone milky translucent outsole come with extra laces here that perfectly match the upper. The laces are actually a darker shade of pink right now. Then on the insole, it has this. I did do a full performance review of the KD3 Retro on the All-Star colorway, so definitely go to my channel and watch that if you want an in-depth review on the performance. But as a crash course, this shoe is pretty solid performance-wise. It's not necessarily my favorite, but the aesthetics are for sure up there in terms of just how it looks. Traction is pretty solid. It is herringbone, so you're going to stick to the floor. It is affected by dust just a little bit, but it's a very solid traction setup. I wouldn't say it's bad. I wouldn't say it's amazing. It's definitely, you know, average above average. In terms of the cushion setup, you have Phylon in the back and then a four foot zoom unit. The four foot zoom unit is pretty responsive. You're not going to feel a lot of bounce from it, as well as the Phylon is not that crazy whatsoever, but it is still pretty comfortable. The uppers aren't too premium at all either. You guys can see it right here. It's pretty stiff as well. That's my main point of feedback, but it is a very old shoe. And so aesthetically, it just makes it look great. So I like it, but performance wise, it's not necessarily my favorite. Someone stepped on the toe box a little bit and it has like an indentation there. I don't know if you, how well you guys can see that through the camera, but that's kind of just how the material is. It's nothing too great, but aesthetically, it just makes it look very, very nice. These sold out very fast on the Nike sneakers app, at least in North America and the USA. I'm not sure about other regions, other countries. But in the US, these sold out very fast and in store releases, I'm not sure which stores got these and I'm pretty sure it's like boutique stores, but they sold out very, very fast as well. So this was a very limited release that I can see going up very, very fast, probably around the 230 range in a couple of months. And then next year, probably around 240, 260. This shoe will definitely go up just because it was a very limited release. The KD16 Aunt Pearls actually released on the same day, and those were high in stock pretty much online and in stores. Some stores got them, but online on Nike, I believe they held most of the stock. So there's still some sizes right now, but this colorway right here, the KD3, is very, very limited. I would say if you do want to get this pair, then get them now because they're only going to go up. They're not going to go down because the stock was pretty low on this shoe. I haven't seen a KD sell out like this in a while. So if you're looking to get a pair, I would recommend getting them now or locally because I would recommend getting them now because they're only going to go up or just get them locally so you don't have to pay the fees and taxes online. I'm like 200, 210 right now, which is not that bad. So I would definitely just pick these up. In terms of sizing, I would stay true to size. This is a pretty good shoe in terms of fit because the materials aren't very snug. They're actually just like sitting there. They're not very conforming to your foot, in my personal opinion. So I would just go true to size if you want a one-to-one -one fit. Lockdown in this shoe is also very good. This heel counter is crazy. There's no heel slippage in this shoe. So let me know what you guys think of the KD3 aunt pearl retro these are very very nice again the kd4 started the aunt pearl but they basically brought back the threes and then put the aunt pearl colorway on those so it's basically a new colorway very very clean a lot of people are liking these so if you struck out on the sneakers app on nike at least in the us 
and make sure to get them now because I can only see these going up. They're not gonna be too crazy, but I can definitely see in a couple years, these are gonna hit like 250, 300. Make sure to subscribe and like this video, especially if you made it this far, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace.